Have you ever wondered what it takes to build and lead a high-performing team where everyone thrives and achieves their full potential? Do you want to enhance your communication skills, make effective decisions, and scale yourself as a manager to achieve long-term success? Welcome to Big Brain Bang, where we explore the insights and shred the ideas from some of the most influential books in the business world. I'm your host, Dave Carell, and today we have The Making of a Manager by Julie Suo. Today, we'll delve into the key takeaways from the book, exploring how to navigate the journey from an individual contributor to a successful manager. So, let's dive right in. The Making of a Manager is an insightful and practical guide written by Julie Suo, who draws on her own experiences as a manager at Facebook. Julie Suo is a Chinese-American entrepreneur and computer scientist. She studied computer science and graduated from Stanford University. In May 2006, Suo became Facebook's intern, which was also her first job. At the age of 25, she became a manager and went on to hold the position of vice president of product design at Facebook. In the book, Suo breaks down the essential skills and mindset shifts required to become an effective leader. Chapter 1, The Transition in the Opening Chapter of The Making of a Manager by Julie Suo Readers embark on a transformative journey that navigates the transition from an individual contributor to a managerial role. Suo delves into the core of the mindset shift that defines this transition. She adept guides readers through a metamorphosis of perspective, urging them to embrace a growth mindset, a belief that talents and abilities can be honed through dedication and effort. An essential facet of this transition lies in the transformation of success metrics. Suo articulates the subtle yet significant shift from individual accomplishments to team achievements. Amidst this evolution, the chapter highlights the challenge of relinquishing tasks and responsibilities that were once integral to an individual contributor's role. There is a delicate balance between maintaining control and empowering the team to thrive. To facilitate this intricate transition, there is an immense value of seeking guidance and mentorship from experienced leaders. Their guidance serves as a beacon of light, illuminating the path forward and assuaging uncertainties. By learning from those who have navigated this terrain, new managers can gain invaluable wisdom and actionable advice that catalyzes their own growth. Self-reflection emerges as a cornerstone of this transformative chapter. Suo emphasizes the significance of introspection, urging readers to undertake an introspective journey to identify their strengths weaknesses, and areas for personal development. Chapter 2, The Right Mindset In this chapter, readers are immersed in the exploration of the right mindset for effective leadership. Suo delves deep into the importance of cultivating a growth mindset and empathy as foundational pillars for managerial success. Suo begins by illuminating the power of a growth mindset. A mindset rooted in the belief that talents, abilities, and intelligence can be developed through dedication and effort. With a growth mindset, managers can cultivate resilience, instill a sense of possibility within their teams, and foster an environment that encourages experimentation, innovation, and continuous improvement. In addition to the growth mindset, Suo emphasizes the crucial role of empathy in effective leadership. Through empathetic leadership, managers can build strong connections, foster trust, and create a sense of psychological safety within the team. Furthermore, the author emphasizes the significance of self-awareness, a critical component of the right mindset. By cultivating self-awareness, managers can mitigate blind spots, make informed decisions, and build authentic connections with their team. The chapter also delves into the impact of the right mindset on feedback. Suo stresses the importance of providing constructive feedback that promotes growth and development. Through a growth-oriented feedback approach, Managers can create a culture that embraces feedback as a valuable tool for learning and progress. Chapter 3, Building and Leading a Team Creating a High-Performing Team is Crucial for Managerial Success, and in this chapter, the author shares valuable insights and practical advice on how to achieve this. One of the key points Suo emphasizes is the importance of diversity within a team. In this case, diversity goes beyond just demographic factors and extends to a range of skills, experiences, and perspectives. By bringing together individuals with diverse backgrounds and expertise, teams can tap into a broader range of ideas, 
problem-solving approaches, and creativity. Suo guides managers on how to foster diversity in their teams and create an inclusive environment where everyone feels valued and empowered. In terms of hiring, the chapter provides guidance on how to attract and select the right candidates. The book stresses the significance of looking beyond just qualifications and focusing on cultural fit, team dynamics, and long-term potential. Once the team is formed, Suo delves into the onboarding process. She emphasizes the importance of setting clear expectations and providing a strong foundation for new team members to succeed. Designing a comprehensive onboarding program enables new hires to quickly integrate into the team, understand their roles and responsibilities, and align with the team's goals. Suo also addresses the critical aspect of team culture. She discusses the role of managers in shaping the culture and creating an environment that fosters collaboration, trust, and psychological safety. Chapter 4, Nurturing Growth In this chapter, we explore the vital role of nurturing growth within a team. The author begins by emphasizing the significance of setting clear expectations for team members. By articulating objectives, defining success criteria, and outlining the skills necessary to excel in their roles, managers can provide a roadmap for growth. Clarity in expectations enables team members to align their efforts, track progress, and understand how their contributions contribute to the team's overall goals. Suo also emphasizes the value of mentorship in nurturing growth. Mentors provide guidance, share knowledge, and serve as trusted advisors to team members. By fostering a culture of mentorship, managers can unlock the full potential of their team members and create a supportive network for continuous growth and development. In addition to mentorship, the author explores the power of stretch assignments and challenging opportunities. By providing team members with projects that push their boundaries and expand their skill sets, managers create an environment that fosters growth and propels individuals toward their highest potential. Furthermore, the author emphasizes the importance of recognizing and celebrating achievements. Publicly acknowledging individuals' contributions not only reinforces a positive culture, but also serves as a catalyst for continued growth and inspires others to strive for excellence. The book presents a holistic approach to nurturing growth, underscoring the author's belief in the power of investing in people. By recognizing the unique strengths, aspirations, and potential of each team member, managers can cultivate an environment where individuals flourish, ideas thrive, and collective success is achieved. Chapter 5, Making Decisions This chapter serves as a comprehensive guide. Equipping managers with the tools and frameworks needed to navigate complexity, embrace trade-offs, and make well-informed choices for their teams. The author begins by highlighting the importance of gathering information and seeking diverse perspectives. Recognizing that decisions are rarely made in isolation, the author emphasizes the value of actively soliciting input from team members, stakeholders, and subject matter experts. By engaging in open dialogue and considering multiple viewpoints, managers gain a broader understanding of the challenges at hand and are better equipped to make informed decisions. The chapter introduces a practical decision-making framework, the RACI model. This tool enables managers to clarify roles, responsibilities, and decision criteria, ensuring that decisions are made in a structured and transparent manner. By utilizing this framework, managers can streamline the decision-making process, mitigate bias, and foster a sense of ownership and accountability within the team. One key aspect explored in this chapter is the concept of embracing trade-offs. The author acknowledges that decisions often involve making difficult choices, where pursuing one path may necessitate sacrificing another. By recognizing and embracing trade-offs, managers can effectively allocate resources, prioritize initiatives, and optimize outcomes for their teams. This chapter serves as a valuable resource, providing practical strategies and actionable insights to help managers navigate the complexities of decision-making, driving positive outcomes and fostering the growth and success of their teams. Chapter 6, Communicating Effectively in this chapter. Suo recognizes that effective communication lies at the heart of successful leadership, and in this chapter, the book delves deeper into the various aspects of communication that managers need to master. The author begins by emphasizing the importance of clear and concise communication. 
recognizing that miscommunication can lead to misunderstandings and inefficiencies, the author encourages managers to strive for clarity in their messages. In addition to clarity, this chapter explores the power of active listening in effective communication. The author emphasizes the importance of being fully present and engaged when interacting with team members. By actively listening, managers demonstrate respect, empathy, and a genuine interest in understanding others' perspectives. The chapter also delves into the significance of nonverbal communication, including body language, facial expressions, and tone of voice. The author highlights the impact of nonverbal cues on the overall message conveyed. By aligning verbal and nonverbal communication, managers can ensure that their messages are received authentically and with clarity. Furthermore, this chapter addresses the importance of adapting communication styles to different individuals and situations. By recognizing and appreciating individual differences, managers can foster inclusive and effective communication, ensuring that every team member feels heard and valued. In conclusion, this chapter highlights the transformative impact of effective communication in leadership. By honing communication skills, adapting to different communication styles, and fostering open dialogue, managers can build trust, promote alignment, and create an environment where ideas flourish and collective goals are achieved. Chapter 7, Scaling Yourself In this last chapter of The Making of a Manager, the author explores the concept of scaling oneself, emphasizing the importance of leveraging systems and delegating effectively. The author begins by highlighting the limitations of trying to do everything oneself. Recognizing that managers often face overwhelming workloads, this chapter emphasizes again the need to shift from a mindset of individual contributor to one of a multiplier. By embracing the principles of leverage, delegation, and systems thinking, managers can achieve greater productivity, effectiveness, and impact. The author emphasizes the significance of understanding team members' strengths and delegating tasks that align with their expertise. By effectively delegating responsibilities, managers not only free up their own time but also empower team members to develop new skills, take ownership, and contribute meaningfully to the team's success. Furthermore, this chapter delves into the importance of providing clear expectations, guidance, and support when delegating tasks. The author offers practical advice on setting clear objectives, providing context, and establishing checkpoints to ensure successful outcomes. By communicating expectations and offering support, managers create an environment where team members feel empowered and confident in their delegated responsibilities. Moreover, the chapter explores the notion of managing one's own time and energy. The author emphasizes the significance of prioritization, time blocking, and self care. By setting clear priorities, managers can allocate their time and energy effectively, focusing on high-impact activities and avoiding burnout. By embracing the principles of scaling oneself, managers can unlock their full potential, create a culture of empowerment, and leave a lasting impact on their teams and organizations. This has been the summary of the making of a manager. Before moving on to the conclusions, consider subscribing to the channel and sharing with those you think may value this content. Your support is essential to the development of this channel. Finally, here are the seven main ideas. Finally, here are the seven main ideas. 1. Embrace the transition. Successfully transitioning from an individual contributor to a manager requires a shift in mindset, where success is measured by the team's accomplishments rather than personal achievements. 2. Cultivate the right mindset, adopt a growth mindset, embrace failure as an opportunity for growth, and develop empathy, self-awareness, and active listening skills to build strong relationships with team members. 3. Build and lead a high-performing team, foster diversity, both in skills and perspectives, during the hiring process. Create a positive team culture through effective onboarding, clear expectations, and a focus on continuous learning and improvement. 4. Nurture growth, set clear expectations, provide constructive feedback, and offer coaching and mentoring opportunities to support the growth and development of individual team members. 5. Make effective decisions, use decision-making frameworks, seek input from team members, and balance intuition with data-driven insights when making tough calls. Be open to feedback and adapt decisions when necessary. 6. Communicate effectively, prioritize clarity 
Transparency, an active communication to ensure understanding and alignment within the team. Develop strong listening skills and address challenges in remote and asynchronous communication. 7. Scale yourself as a manager, leverage information systems and delegate. Manage time effectively, prioritize tasks, and prevent burnout to maintain long-term success as a manager. By embracing these main ideas, aspiring and current managers can enhance their leadership skills, foster team success, and navigate the challenges that come with managerial roles effectively. And that concludes our summary of The Making of a Manager by Julie Suo. Thank you for joining us.